I brought an agent up here living on the Emerald Coast Levi and he does YouTube and he actually kills it on YouTube. So I've been messaging him the past like week. I was like, yo, hop on the mastermind. What up, Levi? What's going on, guys? Doing What's up, man? Wow, he navigated Discord stage like a natural. He's up here, no audio issues. You have no idea how rare this is, Levi. I've uh, been on Discord a little bit with crypto. So. Ah, we got another one. We got another one. All right. Well, uh, introduce yourself to the group, man. Foreman had good things to say about you. So I'm in the Pensacola area. If some of you don't know where that is, it's basically the panhandle of Florida. I've been in real estate for seven years, but as Ryan alluded to, I've recently tapped into YouTube and um, I've always been a top producer, but it has drastically changed my business for the better. Love it, man. How long have you been? Uh, how long have you been doing YouTube, and what made you decide to make the leap to long form content? And third, were you doing any sort of social media before? Was social media supporting your business before YouTube? I've always kind of been bad with social media. I mean, I'm on everything, but I don't post consistently enough. My Instagram, my Facebook, things like that. So I was really old school. Door knocking, open houses, mailers. I paid for a lot of Google pay per click ads. Uh, but I knew video was the wave and that's where everything seems to be headed. You know, uh, University of YouTube is where I watch everything. Actually, there's a couple agents that I would say I give credit to. The channel called Channel Junkies and he really teaches YouTube. So if some of you guys want to check that out, it's pretty badass. We have another server member who's diving deep into YouTube and he mentioned Channel Junkies as well is where he's getting a lot of his information and tips that he's seeing success from. Yeah, it really teaches you, you know, what people want to see because it's easy for us to get on camera and talk about ourselves all the time, but that's not what people want to see. And so it kind of goes against what you would think because you're not really even talking about real estate or yourself ever. You're just showing people the city and what they want to know. Because of that, I have absolutely taken over my market and the leads are next level. Like it's never in my career have I gotten people to reach out so warm and organically. They consume hours and hours of my content. So by the time they send me a message, whether it's an email, a text or call, they want to work with me. They feel like they know me. Yeah, so the lead experience is crazy because I'm not chasing them. They call me. So Levi, I'm, I'm looking at it and the way you're talking, if I was an agent who didn't know better, never knew about YouTube, I would think you had 100,000 subscribers pulling millions yeah, so, of views. And that's what you need for success on YouTube. So not at all. Not run at me all. through your I'm channel. So your subscriber content might not be insane because a lot of the people, they want this information right now and then they're not gonna consume this content six months from now. They're searching from all over the country and YouTube's owned by Google, right? And so it's the same way that we all use it. You type in how to change uh, a headlight in your car, like how to get leads, like it's search based. And so people are typing in no matter what city you're in, what are the best neighborhoods? pros and cons of living in so-and-so. Top five reasons to live in Pensacola. What you would Google, right? I've only been doing this for, I think just about a year now. And I'm in a smaller market, so I feel like if I was in Orlando, Miami, Jacksonville, like I would probably have even crazier results, but it's still been life-changing. You don't focus on subscribers. And honestly, view count really doesn't matter because you have to understand one person that hits you up is anywhere from six grand to, you know, 15 grand in commission. I love that. So, hey everyone, Luca from Actually Agents here. Just wanted to take a quick second to bring your attention to an amazing opportunity we've secured for the Actually Agents community through our partnership with BAM. If you use code ACTUALLY on the website link in the description, you'll gain 10% off to the BAMX training platform. It is jam packed with courses, information, ebooks, scripts, and more, all specifically designed for the modern real estate agent like yourself who's ready to commit to their craft and 10x their business this coming year. Remember, use code ACTUALLY, it's 10% off, the link is in the description. Thanks so much for your support. Let me just ask this question before I dive into the next part, Levi. You started last January, so we're a little over a year. How many deals can you attribute to your YouTube? It's probably close to about 16 last year. And 16 close, deals in a year. 
And yeah. for everyone listening, you know, you're hearing all this and you're like, oh man, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You know, I might need 20,000, 25,000 subscribers and you might not have more than 500 subscribers on any of your social media platforms, but you have less than one and a half thousand subscribers and only 40 videos out. That's yep. super attainable for agents. This is the craziest, most free lead source out there. Anybody can jump on and dominate. That's the other thing that's so crazy about YouTube is it's evergreen content. Unlike Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you post something, it essentially dies in 48 hours, you know, whatever, a week, something like that. These videos just continue to pump forever. Uh, so my old videos, I mean, yeah, I check it every day. I get like 2000 watch hours every 48 hours. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's insane. That's absolutely. That's 2000 hours in front of a potential Absolute. consumer, really, if you think well, about it. I, uh... While I'm asleep. By the way, I don't pay anybody. I do it all myself. I have thought about paying someone, but maybe I'm stingy. Uh, that that was my next question. You're doing, when you say doing all of this, you're doing the filming and the editing and the posting all yourself, not outsourcing any of it. Correct. It's a little time consuming. Honestly, the filming part of it, it's me living. I pull out my phone every time I go out to eat somewhere. I want to go to parades downtown festivals like i'm just capturing content to see it through the, my eyes the way that i would want somebody else to see it i do it on my, my iphone i have one of the cheaper drones the dji mavic mini and there's like three thousand dollar drones right you don't have to have those and i'll just go get shots of you know aerial shots of neighborhoods the beach whatever it is and then i'm using imovie on the mac but that's it my phone a drone and free iMovie. Again, the videos are a little time consuming, but my thought process is that you make a 10 minute video, it will last essentially forever. Some people are under the belief of like, put out as many videos as possible. I'm kind of more under the idea of putting out better quality content and it doesn't even have to be as often because it will pump forever. Love it, man. And I have to ask, cause the chat's very active about it and you don't have to answer. Do you have the drone license? I do. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the freaking the snitches in chat. You can rest easy tonight. You don't need to file any reports to the FAA. He has the commercial <laughs> drone license. It was like a mutual yeah. fuck it anyway in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're a cool we're a cool crowd around here, man. Thanks thank you, by the way. From a phone call from Ryan, Ryan, you outdid yourself here. He called me right after. He's like, this this is the guy. He's like in line with, you know, you're not, basically you're not a 60 year old Colwell agent. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> who doesn't even know what social media is. No, thank you guys, man, for having me on here. Luca, I've followed you for a long time. And so pretty cool, full circle. I, I really appreciate it, man. And we we hope you, uh, you stick around and this isn't a one and done.